Now, see in this example, a stone of mass 1 kg is thrown with a velocity of 20 meter per second across the frozen surface of lake and comes to rest after traveling a distance of 50 meter. What is the force of friction between the stone and the ice? Now, you first you try to understand what is actually friction. If you have taken two object like this, I have given you an example of this table and the book is placed over here and you try to move book this side, you are applying this as an external force. So, when you apply this force and this book try to move this side, there is a force acting between these two surfaces this opposite side that is known as friction. So, here this question is based on actually opposite friction. So, if the body is moving in forward direction, friction is acting in backward direction, this friction is opposing the motion of the object. Same thing it happens here. If ball is stone is thrown with a speed of 20 meter per second. So, initial speed you can take 20 meter per second, this is the initial speed. It travels distance of 50 meter per second, 50 meter. Why does it comes to rest? Because obviously, there is a force friction which is acting opposite direction. So, final velocity will be 0 because it is coming to rest. So, we can have to calculate first acceleration. If you calculate acceleration, mass is given to you, you can calculate force. So, you up can apply this formula V square is equal to U square plus 2 A S. 0 square is equal to 20 square plus 2 into a into 50. So, we can write here minus 400 is equal to 100 into a. So, a is equal to minus 4 meter per second square. What does this negative sign indicate? There is retardation. So, here we can write force is equal to m into a. So, that is 1 into minus 4 Newton. So, that is minus 4 Newton. So, this minus sign indicates that the force is retarding. 